Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11 on the Mysterious JG. Um, this is the same recording session where I told you I got a tiger in my tank. I also found out that Chi Grimmeth is considering retirement, not from the forces of Shu, but from the world of LP. Um, so all of those things are weighing heavily on my mind, particularly the thing about having a tiger in my tank. I just can't stop thinking about the fact that I got gas effects on the station. And uh, we're going to continue on with my LP adventure. We're going to do our best to soldier on. First, we've got to end the turn. And hope that Cao Cao doesn't just completely overrun Chang Han before I can get it reinforced properly. This might be, I'd like to think, Chow 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 Chow's. Firmina Chow Chow. Chow Chow Chow. This might be Cao Cao's last opportunity to really fuck me over and take over. But if he's going around using fire traps and stuff, doing some damage, but then he's like, wow, no, this is not going very well for me. Jank Fei's leader is now 87. Cease being attacked in off screen action. These guys could take a pretty heavy toll, though. All these towers. I'm really enjoying this. This is why I build them, folks. This kind of damage does add up. I was hoping they were in range of them. Oh, more guys attacking John Lu. They really want John Lu, don't they? We've got six and change good cavalry. About nine and a half super spears. It's about six super spears that they've got. I've got six and change good cavalry, and I've got a bunch of super rams. Now, what I really want to do really want to do is knock those guys into the rams, but that would I would have to stay in the fire. And I don't like that idea much at all. So, what do I want to do here? I can't use those tactics in this terrain. I might not be... Let's see, what terrain is this? Sand. I can't use... I can't use tactics in sand anyway, it looks like. So maybe I just need to get over here and attack these guys, regular. Or could have tried tactics, I suppose. What did I lose there? 486 and I only took 1,000? That wasn't that great, actually. The rams are going to be the problem, folks. They're going to wipe out the towers very quickly. But she Grimmeth is on his way to save the day! He won't be able to do anything this turn. He will be able to cut off the advance of the rams. Thank you, She Grimmeth, for making us laugh about ram cutting off the paths of... Again, Vulture Bobo, come along, Bobo. Bobo, as always, following She Grimmeth and not keeping up. Yes, I know he's a pike unit and She Grimmeth is a cavalry unit. But still, without really intending to, I created a very perfect and pristine come along, Bobo moment. <laughs> now... Get over the battle and the valley of death here. Will you guys be able to get through? No, damn you! No! The rams are going to escape! Damn it! Oh! So angry. There's no way. I cannot get through. I don't have the tactics necessary. I, if I had tactics, I could have maybe knocked him back two squares. Even that wouldn't work. He would have landed in on the farm, so it wouldn't have let it work. He would have bounced back or something. Which means that there's no way for me to free up the zone of control for him to get through. No, the, the towers have escaped. Fuck. You guys are already out of food. I'm kind of surprised at that. It does mean there's no point in attacking you. It's like, maybe I can... Somehow the rams will turn around for some stupid reason. I have to hope. That was a stupid attack. I totally blanked on the fact that I was attacking uh, pikes with spears. I need to pull those guys out of there. I've got a ton of troops coming. The problem I'm going to run into is I don't want these officers getting captured. JG Mystery is in there. I don't want him getting captured, obviously. 
There's only one way to stop them. There's only one man who can... Not Pancake's guy. Mr. Sirius is the only one who can stop them. With Pancake's guy preventing him from dribbling on himself, Mr. Sirius will come to save the day. Why do I want him to get 5,000 gold? What the hell am I doing? Well, I do have to replace that um, one tower that got destroyed, but 5,000 gold? I was, I'm, I'm in that mode where I'm thinking that everyone who leaves is going to be going to a new city. Mr. Sirius is here. You will suffer for having not been nice. Meanwhile, it, Zhao Yun is now in charge. Is this place, you can't recruit troops yet. Can you outfit? Just horses. Well, why aren't I doing that every damn turn? That's better than nothing. What was I thinking? Ah. Horses. Inspect. No, I don't really need to inspect yet. Have I got some non... Yeah, I've got enough guys I can start developing again. As crazy as this might sound. I've got enough guys that I can start developing. Because I will not have to throw Zhao Yun in there. Zhao Yun. I don't have enough stuff for these guys to lead anyway. 30 days. Yeah. All right, this is crazy, but I don't want to slow down the development anymore. So I'm going to have you guys work on building a market while the city is under tech. <laughs> that is how confident I am in my forces. Other people haven't moved yet. Oh, it's the naval dudes. I got, a, I got a naval battle going on out here that I've forgotten about. I got so much shit going on. So many battles being fought. I can't keep track of it all, folks. Tatsu I wasn't really bothered with ships. He might come to regret that, but... Brandon Elmetal's going to be able to fight off the entire Way Navy by himself. He wasn't really... Yeah, he didn't really do any more damage than he took there, did he? It didn't seem like it. Maybe I missed a digit somewhere in that display, but it seemed like he wasn't really uh, being all that effective. Alright, now that turns over, military-wise. I didn't leave myself enough gold to do anything with these officers. 7,000 food? Can I really sell? No, I can't really sell that either. Drilling troops is free. And the installation is free. 18 items? Oh, because this is where uh, Mateng got captured, I guess. One alliance? Oh, that's a diplomacy. It's not specific to this city. In this city. Yeah, this place needs to get developed, but right now there's no freaking money there. You've got a decent amount of food, but not enough gold to make it worth sending anything. Uh, recruit and inspect. If you guys recruit, recruit, inspect, and drill, then my turn will be over. There are going to be losses when you fight South South, folks. And um, this city was at one point maxed out with 150,000 troops. I've got some troops in the field, of course. These guys are coming back with some more troops. Like a thousand, yeah. But no, you're, yeah, we 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 got guys dying, folks. We're fighting South Sao. Um, pe there are people, people are going to have to make the ultimate sacrifice to punish the traitors of the Han. This is how it is. So now it's like great flames as they're trying to destroy these super awesome, uh, excellent construction of the something or other happened trying to destroy my, my vast array of towers, which I'm damn glad I built now. Oh, stop with the fucking fire tactics, you jerks. So they managed to destroy one of the towers. 
But uh, those rams have turned around in a completely random direction. People are really cheering loud outside. There's some kind of sports thing going on. I have no idea. Oh, of course you're approaching Chang'e. Oh, with another ram unit. Well, that's nice. She grimmeth to save the day. How do I want to do it? What do I want to do? Should I get rid of the rams first, or the actual cavalry guys who will hurt my own troops? Let's start out with the rams. Here I go! Ouch, that hurt. Space is accomplished. Nothing really. Could move here and knock them one space into the flames. Dance into the fire. But I, why can't I attack them? Is it because of the terrain they're on? It's because of the terrain they're on. Damn it! So if I tried to use tactics on them, it would. in charge, but he's too smart to abandon the city completely just to lead a couple more, you know, sword units out there. However, he is smart enough to say, you know, you really should have just been outfitting that whole... Oh, we can recruit now. Awesome. I mean, yes, I knew we could recruit now. I am on top of things, unlike previous idiots who ran this joint. Shoo Shoo's intelligence is done. 94. Keep them bruising. thinking now of uh, Falls LP of uh, whatchamacallum's uh, Mystic Arc, the sequel to Seventh Saga, and that has me thinking of the awesome town music, so it's like, oh no, my city's under attack. We could all be killed. We were all doomed. This is the end for all of us. Here I go, failing with my tactics. Damn it, Branded Elemental. You haven't been the same since you got beaten up by a girl. Liu Bei, hurry your ass up and help out Dang Hai. He might have a good Navy score. He's like a serious general. Bei doesn't have a good Navy score. He was a serious general, but he wasn't part of Wu, and it seems like if you're not with Wu, they don't give you a good Navy score in this game. That's not 100% true. I guess Guan Yu has a decent Navy score, but... None of those rams are going to escape. Fuckers. Can I use blunder on these guys? And is it even worth it when I could just attack them? Is it time to attack? Yeah, it took some pretty heavy casualties there, alright. Shit. attack the somewhat more powerful and dangerous enemies with my ranged attack that will set them on fire and cause them to breathe their last. How are you guys doing for food? Wow, you brought a lot of food with you and you lost a lot of troops. You're great for food. It's not great for troops. Yeah, jank phase units got to get out of there before I lose those generals, before they get captured. I've been pretty bloodthirsty with the generals I've captured, so they would kind of have it coming if they... I'd kind of have it coming if they started executing my dudes. 
can't really justly complain if they start executing my dudes now. Meanwhile, Shang Yong, no point in recruiting troops because I'm at my maximum. But can I employ Zhang Liao yet? Of course not. It's a silly question, really. These guys are pretty loyal officers, I gotta say. I gotta hand it to Cao Cao. Knows how to pick dudes who do not betray him lightly. Possibly the fact that. In the novel, you're too fucking scared of Cao Cao to betray him. He will kill you. No problem. He's like, oh, you wanna die? I can take care of that for you, buddy. I don't have enough. There's no space for development in Anding? I thought I still had more development I had to do in Anding. Chang An needs more development. On Ding, oh, On Ding doesn't have that many places to develop. But I realize that there's two stables, and I'm gonna have to get rid of one of them. Or it's just stupid. I won't be able to produce troops, but I'll be able to produce horses at a ridiculous rate. All right, let's give up technique points. Damn it! And build a barracks here. Peng Tong, I'll let you see to that. Yeah, I figured he'd be involved in the group anyway. Once the front stabilizes, I'm going to have to take a turn to uh, let the computer take over some of this stuff. And as a matter of fact, I like the idea of Pang Tong being one of the frontline cities because he's a good officer, but otherwise, who have they got, in who have they got here that I want to get out of there? Wang Yue Ying, I hate you, Jen, Leg Lego. Those are really good officers, but I think some of them are already in the middle of transporting. Yeah, once things stabilize, I gotta get my good, my awesome officers from here into the front line somewhere, and then I gotta throw this thing into a computer-controlled district. Better know a district, folks. But, for now... about everything, but I could get, oh, get more ships going. I'll keep you guys busy for a while. Maybe I get some more horses. And that's it for my turn. But I've got troops who haven't moved. Who hasn't moved? The Bay is moved. Vulture Bobo, do you need uh, specific instructions? Yeah, it's Vulture Bobo. He's like, uh, what should I do? You should come along, Bobo. Come on. All right. Chang Quinn's transport units arrived at Jiang Gang. What will I do with them? I'll order them back to Hanjin, I suppose. You guys are just going to take out all my towers, you jerks. Although, that's part of what they're there for, just to distract the enemy. Now they're going to start attacking the city. Um, it's fine, man. If they want their rams to sit there engaging my troops and their cavalry to attack the city, I'm fine with that. That tower, they took it out, but it did some damage while it was still there. And this tower... Man, if this was like, like... I remember in StarCraft 1, I was always upset that it didn't track how many kills your towers got. This thing has killed a lot of troops. Knock him into the fire. No, that's right, it won't let me do that. What kind of war do these officers have? Got a 57-year-old woman and a 43-year-old dude. That's oh, Cao Cao's wife again! You know, didn't he learn anything from what happened to Zhen Ji? Liu Bei does not have mercy on the ladies. 23 and 78. What kind of war are these guys got? I know that Shi Grimoth is in there. He's, he's got created officer of war. 
77, 61, 93. Well, unless she agreement ends up in the duel, it's not a sure thing. But I think I might just drive through them anyway in the hopes that I can confuse them. And I might trap my cavalry. That's always fun. Yes, we shouldn't have been hit here. Neither, neither the duel nor uh, them being confused actually happened there. And I kind of left them with a clear path to my city. So, yeah, once again, brilliant strategies by the mysterious JG. Oh, confuse them by setting fire to my own city. <laughs> Bobo Vulture may, or Vulture Bobo may end up uh, actually, oh, here we go. Yes, I'm sure. And I want you to stay there. Yeah! Alright, folks. That makes a big, big difference. Xiao Yun, well, it's not a very big spirit unit. But, uh, it's Xiao Yun. Food? Well, okay, now that's a weird number of food because of the weird number of troops, but... It's like three and change spears versus five and change cavalry. Yeah, maybe I should... Well, I'm not going to have another transport unit there with more spears for... Oh, what I should have done is use this turn to develop more spears. Stupid, I get ahead of myself. Well, I could have had another... Yeah, I could have had another 3,000 spears in that unit. Damn it. But I got a huge cavalry unit ready to go. That's what I should have done, to send Xiao Yun out in charge of a cavalry unit. Falzure will take that responsibility instead. Let us look at... The base stock, well, there's still going to be 8,000 troops in the base. Not a lot, but um, it's enough to hold. And it will give them another big, badass unit to whoop up on these rams. Oh, that hurts. I am pretty confident, folks. I feel like I can now safely say that the crisis has passed. Uh, we're going to have to fight. They're not going to give up on it, but, um, yeah, the moment of crisis has passed. We have successfully held the city. Meanwhile, over here, Jank Fei needs to get the F out of there. To do that, we need to get rid of these guys. Damn it, I needed you to push them back. I did not need that tactic failing. Because you guys are not going to be able to uh, push anyone anywhere. Now, if they're perturbed, they won't have... Oh, now, I can still do this. A little bit of luck. Damn it. Okay, if I can pull this off, I get lucky here. No, I didn't. Damn it. Okay. If I could have perturbed them, they wouldn't have zone of control anymore, and Jang Fei could have gotten out. But not only did they not pull it off, but I wasted a 12, 000, like a 14. Yeah, it's like a yeah, 114,000 troops. Well, 11,400 saw the troops. Could have attacked one of these units, and they didn't. So Jank Fei is probably going to get captured on the next turn. Cal Rong has a war of four. How the hell is that even possible? Get away from me, minnows! I want your general! A general of an army must not risk his life needlessly. So I got some will, but I'm still going to get wiped out on the next turn. I really hope they don't capture those guys. I really, I sure they do. 
I don't know what I'm going to do if they kill JG Mystery. I mean, I, I've, I'm committed basically to going with what happens with this LP. I'm not. Oh, they're going to take this place. So they've wiped out its hit points. Damn it. All those troops are going to be lost, I believe. What the hell, man? How did they do that so quickly? I guess it never fully recovered or something, but... No! That's it, one more time! Guess I need to get a power unit going to get it back. Oh, it's never over, folks, I tell you. Uh, at least it'll be some cheap and easy deeds for Jing Tsai. I do this for Guan Ping, who is actually still alive, so... Whatever. Like I said, I got actual Chinese speakers watching this, so I gotta stop doing the old, um... Ching Chong Chai Chow. Oh, I think I sound Chinese. Ho, ho, ho. I'll explain where some of that comes from later, but yeah, there's like a Mystery Science Theater clip I've been meaning to put up that's just like, it's this movie from the 60s, and it's supposed to be funny when they do this whole China man speak routine, <laughs> and the end result is just, you know, Mike and the bots, like, you know, Mike saying, to every Asian, to every human being, we apologize for that scene. Because it's like from the movie itself. It's all like, oh, ching chong, ho, oh, and we're like, oh god. <laughs> You're disgracing us all. Alright, now this city here. Uh, I don't care about the city here anymore. No, no, it's got Zhang Liao in it. Gotta keep it going. His loyalty is just never gonna drop, is it? I mean, I admire it, but. Dude, you're working for the wrong side, man. You really are. I haven't messed with ranks in a while. Then again, 20 promote, 3 demote. I was gonna say, I don't think I've gained any new. Juge Liang is gonna be East Officer Division. It's not that I have a higher rank so I can award more ranks, but my my people have more duty or more deeds, which means that they can qualify for. Liu Zhang will now be an attendant. JG Mystery remains a vassal. She Grimmeth is still an officer. Folger is a guard. Pancakes guy is an administrator. He actually outranks several of us. Western sub officer, Mr. Sirius. Soon Wukong is probably one of the highest ranked. Like Lego, actually, even more. But Soon Wukong is one of the highest ranked of the guys who is on my force. He's like a created officer. I mean, I got him from Cao Cao. I got Leg Lego from Ma Tang, but that was so much more recent. I really think of Sun Wukong as being one of my guys. And uh, Leg Lego is still sort of in the process of becoming one of my guys. Guan Ping had become Officer of Defense. I haven't seen uh, Jing Tsai. Where's Jing Tsai in all this? She has a rank, I think. Maybe she got demoted. They're getting captured by Ma Chao. Do not want to recruit here. I just completely lost the city that I was working with. Can't get another boat going yet. You guys have not that many troops. I have to remember to inspect on the next turn. Though I really need to end the video soon too. Do, 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 do
do we've got one officer who's not doing anything. What could he be doing? Could be searching. Searching for flames. They seem to be everywhere. Ponding. Ponding? This is a city with a ton of officers, so not a whole lot going on. If I leave, my, well, some of those officers are in a transport unit. If I leave the officers here uh, that I don't particularly want to do anything with, once I put them in a computer controlled district, I think it will distribute them as it sees fit, and that's probably good enough. Your will is pretty low, guys. But I kind of don't care because you're not going to be involved in any uh, combat with those troops, probably. Unless it's a really long term thing where they get transported somewhere by the transport. I think Kaishi in my force. She's a chick. I don't know who she is, but I just the idea of having women commanding huge military units in ancient China always amuses me. Oh, that doesn't sound sexist or anything. I'm just like, I love the idea of like a woman who's in command of this huge military force. It's great. Sisters be doing it for themselves. I gotta find some way to spend this last 20 uh, action points so then I can save the game and the video. And when we come back, there'll be excitement and adventure galore. And pussy galore, of course. Because of all those women commanding units. Sorry. That's just what the gal word galore brings to mind for me. I mean, it should for all of us. If you have any knowledge of the James Bond movies. <laughs> There's some, like, horrible, like, you know, talking animals for kids movie with a villain named Kitty Galore. I'm like, seriously, you guys? What, <sighs> what are you... But anyways, this is going to be it for this video. Uh, then it gets get to where I can uh, summon my new uh, indicator that it's time to clip the video in post-production. Guan Lu. Now let's see which officer would be a good match for you. Maybe I'll just go through this real quick and see. I'm kind of curious. You're in a duel with someone you've never met. What do you do? Attack, analyze my foe. Well, I'm going to analyze them. I mean, I don't feel like I'm a pussy for saying that. Obviously, you're going to, like, you know, check your foe out and put some thought into it. The big battle is about to start, and all want you as commander. I'm up to the task. I'd rather not. Well, if everyone wants me as commander, I guess I'll do it, you know. I probably would rather be a lieutenant, actually, but, um, if all want me as commander, I guess I gotta do it. What stance do you take in important council meetings? Ignore everyone, listen to everyone. Ignore everyone, come on. You gotta listen to people. No man is an island, right? No, you're wrong. Yes, you're right. Uh. I'm more of an island in my personal life than I'd like to be, actually. But I do have to recognize the fact that you, yeah, should not be an island. You should be, you know, a peninsula. There's a giant great feast in front of you. How will you eat it? Plate by plate? All at once. Um... Plate by plate, I guess. I, yeah, I mean, you go to the buffet with a plate. You don't just go to the buffet, sit down, and start eating. You're going to be in a play. What role would you undertake? Behind the scenes, main character. Eh, I'm not much of a thespian. I'd probably be more of a behind the scenes guy. A director, you know? You can have a big ego and be director. What do parents mean to you? A comfort or burden? Eh, my parents are cool. Your bath water's a little hot. What do you do about it? Get in anyway, cool it down. Uh, I would wait a minute. If it's a little hot, I guess you get in anyway. Yes, I think I have a good idea of your fortune, your personality, and your actions. The perfect officer for you is... Ma Dai. He's immune to perturb, I guess. He's a character in Dynasty Warrior 7, I think, so I'll have to keep a close eye on him and see just how big of a douchebag this game thinks I am. But anyway, folks, when we come back, um, Chong An is not secure or anything, but the, the true moment of crisis has passed. Now it's a matter of, like, taking care of the detail stuff, including the massive military units that are still converged outside the city. Uh, so when we come back, hopefully we'll be able to take care of that, and uh, don't let me forget, not that you have any control over this, that I've got to restore order in that southernmost city in District 1, because I recruited troops there. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.